Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss about shaper machine, and uh, basically uh, we will uh, look into uh, the what are the different parts of a shaper machine. Okay. So before going into the topic, I will uh, like to explain you what exactly a shaper machine is. Shaper is actually a reciprocating machine. Reciprocating means uh, it is actually moving in to and fro directions. The example is just like uh, when we take a piston and cylinder in IC engine, the piston will reciprocate inside the cylinder. That is actually a reciprocating motion. So just like that, a shaper is also a reciprocating machine. Reciprocating what? It is actually reciprocating the tool. Uh, the tool needs to be uh, tool needs to do its job right so that uh, job is done with the help of reciprocating action that is why shaper is called a reciprocating machine and the other machine which comes into category of shaper is a planing and slotting machines these are all reciprocating machines so as i mentioned uh, uh, shaping planing and slotting are all reciprocating machines so why uh, we are using shaper shaper is basically used uh, for producing uh, flat or plane surfaces flat or plane surfaces okay or it can be used for uh, producing slots or grooves this flat or plane surfaces means suppose if i'm just taking a block rectangular block the surface say if i'm just taking a rectangular block and the surface of this particular block needs to be machined. I can use shaper for that. And this surface, I can machine this surface. That is, it is horizontal, right? I can machine this surface also. And suppose one surface is inclined. I can machine this particular surface also. That is this inclined surface also. That is why horizontal, vertical or angular plane. So basically shaper is used to machine the surface and it can also produce uh, slot screws or keyways and it can also make contour. Contour means it's, it's curve, right? So it can uh, produce contour, concave or convex surfaces. So these are the uh, basic uh, why this particular machine is developed, basic use of shape. And now we will uh, go to uh, what exactly the figure talks about and uh, when a question comes uh, you need to explain uh, with, the, with the help of a neat sketch explain the uh, different parts of a shaper machine so definitely you have to make a sketch right so this is the schematic of a shaper machine and here you can see this is the workpiece which one this one and uh, this workpiece is actually given an L shaped that means you have to, suppose you have to remove this particular part this one this particular part and first you need to fix the workpiece suppose if this is the workpiece and you you cannot hold this workpiece in air right so for that you have to fix the workpiece inside something and this is that is called vice this is the workpiece, this is the workpiece, and this is the vice. This one is the workpiece, and this is the vice. So then workpiece is fixed inside the vice. Then the next arrangement, what you need to do, the entire setup, that is the workpiece and vice needs to be rested on a table. So this is the table, and here you can see the table is having horizontal lines made across, right? These are called cross rays. So the uh, shaper table is always having cross rays. So this particular uh, vice and the workpiece is rusted on the table. Next thing, immediately we have made the arrangement. We have taken the table, but we need to move the workpiece up and down depending upon the depth of cut needed. So definitely an arrangement should be given so that 
the table can be raised up or down. So for that, the table is fixed between these particular parts. This one and this is the arrangement and it is having a threaded, this is actually threads, threaded rod is there. This threaded rod actually is used to raise the table up and down. This is the vertical field here you can see with the help of this particular vertical field you can uh, raise the table up and down depending upon uh, what depth of cut you need and also an arrangement to cross feed the table along apart from moving up and down you can cross feed that is into the uh, board or into the slide so that is the mechanism which actually uh, uh, which is which is actually used to raise the table or cross feed the table and again i will explain first you need to draw the workpiece and this workpiece needs to be fitted inside a vise like this and after that the entire setup needs to be mounted on a table and the table needs to be moved up and down or cross feed for that the table is fit fitted inside a particular arrangement with a threaded rod okay that part is over so we have made everything for the workpiece then definitely the next job is you need to bring a tool so that the tool can do its machining operation on the surface of the workpiece so in the beginning i have mentioned shaper is always a reciprocating machine that is the tool, this is the tool. Here you can see the tool. Tool is needs to be reciprocated. Reciprocated means here the direction of reciprocation is in this direction. So tool needs to be reciprocated. So definitely an arrangement should be given. So for the reciprocating motion of the tool, the remaining arrangement is made. We will look into each and every part. So the next thing, uh, so for the time being, we have seen what is actually tool. This one is the tool. And the tool is actually fitted on, needs to be fitted on something, right? So for that, just like lathe, here also a tool post is there. Here you can see tool post. This tool post is used to hold the tool tightly. So that when you do the machining operation, uh, there won't be any deflection of the tool and uh, so tool and tool post uh, arrangement is made then after that this tool post needs to be fitted onto inside something right so tool post is used to hold the tool and after that you need to hold the tool post also right so for the to hold the tool post you can see a clapper box and clapper box is this one and inside the clapper box this particular rod will go and this will actually hold the tool post and clapper box will be having some threaded arrangement inside so that this will actually this particular rod will extend into this particular clapper box so that it can tightly hold the tool post which in turn holds the tool so we have made the arrangement for the tool tool is actually fitted on the tool post and tool post is fitted onto the clapper box then next thing is definitely you have to provide an arrangement for the tool so that it can be raised up and down it can be raised up and down it is not actually reciprocating you need to manually raise the tool up and down because suppose if you we have a workpiece like this like this and again if i'm just bringing a bigger workpiece definitely uh, the height uh, of the tool needs to be adjusted otherwise what will happen is that for this particular uh, workpiece the tool will be like this and if i'm again using the same height it will be somewhere here right the tool will be somewhere here so definitely you have to 
raise the tool. So to raise the tool, this clapper box, tool post and tool is connected to tool slide, this one. So that with the help of this lever or this handle, you can raise the tool post. Okay. And again, not the point in the beginning I mentioned it is actually a reciprocating mechanism. So we have provided arrangement to move the tool up and down. But what is the arrangement given for uh, reciprocation? That is this direction, this one. For that, a ram is provided. And this ram is actually connected to a gear or slotted levers, gear and slotted levers, which actually drives the ram. And this gear and slotted levers are arranged inside the column. For the time being, uh, when a question comes, like uh, you need to make a sketch of the uh, shaper machine, you can just draw this column. And inside the column, actually, uh, crank is there. And uh, crank means gears. Gears are there and a lever is there. That I will explain uh, in the uh, coming videos. But for the time being, you can just draw the just mention this thing as a column and this column is connected to the ram and ram can reciprocate that is it can reciprocate in this direction when ram moves in this particular direction what happens is that tool will also move in this direction so once you set the height that is initially tool needs to be set according to the depth of cut needed on the workpiece then after that you can reciprocate the ram so that tool can do its uh, machining operation on the surface of the workpiece. Okay, and uh, when you uh, don't want the reciprocating motion, you can lock the ram using a ram locking handle and ram adjustment nut. Okay, so and uh, inside the column to drive the gears, a driving. Uh, wheel is there or driving pulley is there. So this is the basic parts and the entire thing is actually uh, mounted on a base. So this is the uh, schematic of a shaper and uh, when a question comes you need to draw the figure and explain each and every part. In the next video uh, we will discuss about the crank and slaughter lever mechanism of a shaper. Okay, thank you.